Hey kids, it's Dad. Happy November. Holy cow. Uh, the year is slipping. Slipping away from us. Daylight savings was yesterday. And it's amazing what's getting accomplished and what's what's happening. Uh, had an amazing surprise on Friday. Uh, big kids stopped in to say hello, quick hug and a kiss. Love every minute of that. Uh, always love having big kids uh, drop in, even for a few uh, minutes. So welcome, uh, so uh, deserved. Today's discussion is something that makes me hot under the collar. <clears throat> Remember Roddy Dangerfield? We'll leave it at that. When I go shopping, I love to go shopping. I love, I love shopping. I love, uh, love being with my sweetheart. We'll go to the pick and save or whatever, and we'll go shopping. We always get a cart. Boy, does it boil my blood when I see perfectly able-bodied people not putting the carts back where they belong. Why? 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 There are five, 10, maybe 15 parking spots in the parking lot taken up by these corrals for your cart. You know, and I saw this able-bodied person. They weren't parking in handicap. That's a whole separate issue. They weren't on crutches. Just take it and put it, oh, man, it just burns me. And I, I wanted to say something, but I didn't because, you know, I don't, I don't want to cause trouble. But seriously, can you just put the damn cart where it belongs? Is it that hard? You know, what kind of person doesn't put the shopping cart back where it belongs? What what does that say about us in society? You know, it might have taken 15, maybe 20 steps to move that cart to its location. It may have, you know, added an extra minute of time to this gentleman's agenda. You know, maybe he could have seen me and said, hey, I'll take that cart. Or, hey, I'll give you that cart. Maybe he could have seen me and said, hey, do you want this cart? But no, he was in too much of a hurry. Just throwing it over here. Someone else will take care of it. This is somebody else's problem. I think there's a lot of this is somebody else's problem here in the world. It's not somebody else's problem. It's my problem. I took the cart. I'm going to put it back. Uh, you know, the next time you come, that cart will be back where it belongs, where it needs to be. Put the cart in the corral. I don't know why that's such a hard concept. I don't get it. Just do it. Put it where it belongs. Can we just do that? You're going to take the cart. Part of taking the cart is putting it away. You know, if you're not going to put it in the right spot, don't take it to begin with. Uh, kind of reminds me of when I was in Phoenix or in Scottsdale. They have all these uh, uh, green and, and yellow bikes and people just screw them, screw them everywhere. Can't you put them back in the rack? Put the shopping carts back. Don't start something you can't finish. Maybe that's the moral of the story, but I'm, I'm putting it to shopping carts. Oh, that just boils me. I love you, Madeline. I love you, Claire. I love you, Tommy. I love you, Emma. And I love you, Drew. Guys, put your shopping carts back. I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.